There are many challenges in recruiting diverse study populations in large population studies like the Cancer Prevention Study 3 that the American Cancer Society has launched. And this dates back for some racial ethnic populations because of the general mistrust with research. Sometimes there's not a clear understanding of what will be done with the information provided and there's not necessarily a clear understanding of what participation is involving. From a research perspective, we need diverse populations because if we don't have diverse populations, we're looking at a specific population group and then making assumptions about what happens in other populations. A great example of this is with prostate cancer. We know that prostate cancer affects African American men more than it does any other racial ethnic group, but we don't necessarily know why. If there is an underlying genetic difference, we would need to have a population of African American men to study compared to men of other racial ethnic backgrounds to identify what those genetic components are. Understanding populations and what affects different populations in the U.S. is a critical component of cancer prevention and control. And currently there is an underrepresentation of some of our most abundant minority populations, Hispanic Americans, African Americans, and many other racial ethnic groups. So having a diverse population in our newest cancer prevention study, CPS3, is critical to being able to address some of that lack of understanding of how cancer risk affects different populations.